to infinity and beyond. <laughs> to infinity <gasps> and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have a Toy Story. <laughs> Mad. Yeah, he loves it. Oh. What does Forky say? Bo ba do ba do do. It's so cute. <laughs> Toy Story Land is gonna be the best. It sure is. Mm. To infinity. And beyond! <laughs> you ready? I am so ready. Are you guys ready? I have been very ready for a long time. I feel like... Okay, this is how I feel. I don't want to focus on all of the rubbish from the past few months not rubbish but it's just been it's been an emotional roller coaster it has by the way i'm on a cushion i'm not i'm not growing i'm not <laughs> taller than dave i'm still five foot one it's yeah, been the last a couple of months, months have been a, an emotional roller coaster and they have and i don't want to focus on it but i do think that it's really given us perspective of just what we want out of life and that is just to go to florida and paris and just to I don't know, I feel like, okay, I will always support you with auditions, but the thing I hate about it the most is that your emotions and your life are just in the hands of someone else. Yeah. And it takes weeks and months to find out information. And I'm, I think once you've been through that for a while, you're just like, I'm going on holiday, I'm taking back control. <laughs> I think there's a difference as well. I mean, this, this will make total sense, but like, there's a definite shift once you start having a family and want want to have yeah. some sort of like life has to come first at some point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because it's not just me that it affects no, anymore. No, and when it was just us, I was happy for it to be all about the auditions. kind of like chaotic and yeah. and like surprising and spontaneous and stuff. But We're like, over it. <laughs> it's been a spontaneous fourteen years. <laughs> um, so yeah, like it's yeah, it's nice that we're it's. We've been together for, yeah, 13 years this June. Mm -hmm. 13 years? Why aren't we like 80 years old? <laughs> I feel like I am. Okay, so we originally had planned to go to Florida in February of this year. We thought it would be cooler for Barney and crowds should be good. Turns out, I think the weather was okay, but I think the crowds were mental. <laughs> and I think, let us know if you've, if you've been recently, but from what I can see, it just looks busy all the time and I've seen a few people say that this year quiet seasons don't really exist. Because so. everyone just wants to get back there, right? Like. I guess so, yeah. Uh, but let us know if you went recently and let us know what the crowds were like. So we thought that would be the best option. Then obviously with auditions and life that didn't happen. And then we basically have been trying to get back as soon as possible but I think and it feels like really natural to talk about this now, but I think we both came to the realization that we were just feeling stressed about it for the sake of making videos, which has never been our reason to go to Florida ever. We've always just wanted to go and then film the videos, but I think because we were so excited to get back, I felt like we just like owed people Disney vlogs. Yeah. Which is so silly. And also there was, there was that definite feeling of like, we know we want to go let's just get there yeah and like the i feel like the pressure was also to like go and have a nice time to yeah. just like uh, yeah and my biggest concern was the weather with barney like our earliest time that we could really go would be june and i just was i worked there in june i was there from like june to september so i know like that June, July, it's just so humid and hot. And I just kept battling with myself thinking, am I just doing this for the wrong reasons? And are we going to be just chasing the air con for Barney's sake and not able to really fully relax and enjoy it? And I know that I'm scared about June in terms of like yeah. getting burnt and stuff like that. So yeah, and we have a very fair ginger child. That's what I mean. Like so... he is like that times you know it's, ten for it's Barney. Definitely something to consider. Um. So anyway, we've had a really good chat about it, and we've gone back and forth lots of times, and we've basically made decisions, and we've booked, and we have bookings, and we have plans, and we're really excited. So drum roll, please. We are 
going in November. Whee! <laughs> that wasn't planned, by the way. That was just seamless. We're so just, awkward. What? what? <laughs> that was amazing. Sorry. Um, no, we're going in November. I'm so excited. And the best part is we're going to be there for Sol's birthday. My birthday in Disney. I yeah. can't believe it. And it'll be Christmassy, which we've never seen Christmas at Disney before. So I'm so excited. Is that the only season we've not seen now? Because it's just like general and then Halloween yeah, we've and done then Christmas, Flower right? Yeah, because we've done Flower and Garden and we've done Food and Wine. Yes. Although we were so poor when we were there for Food and Wine, we didn't eat anything. No. Because it wasn't on the dining plan, was it? That no. was back when the dining plan, you just got like a chocolate pudding. <laughs> you got a chocolate pudding with every meal, apart, f- 2011, apart from breakfast. 2011 dining plan was the time to I be alive. ate so much, because you didn't eat all your chocolate puddings. <laughs> our fridge was so full I'd of bring them. So I'd put them in the fridge, and I just ate chocolate pudding all the time. It was glorious. It was glorious. It was a glorious time. <laughs> but we have realize that that is a long time to wait. I mean, it's not, it should go quite fast, but we are also going (laughs) Disneyland Paris! Yay! So we will be in Disneyland Paris in June, which is next month. Yes. We are so excited. We've, We've said this story a million times. I've been as a child, don't really have the memories. Dave's been on a school trip and Hated his life. Yeah, it was. It, I went on a whim. I didn't know anyone there, and it was just like, and "Do you want to come?" And I was like, "Yeah, sounds alright." And then everything was shut. It rained. It wasn't owned by Disney, so it wasn't like, you know. Yeah, I don't think it was at the time. Disney, was it? no, it wasn't. Um, and like, I had a burger on my first day in Paris. No, this is gonna make us like. So I had a burger. I was already feeling really homesick. And it was like, it was like... Was it not an Aberdeen Angus? No, it was, it was bloody. It was rare. It was so rare that it had blood in it. And I was like, I can't even eat a burger here. <laughs> I, j- I just want to go home. And I went to Disney and it it, it was... It was the worst day of his life. I, it wasn't the worst, <laughs> but it wasn't a, an optimal a, a experience for me. So we are going to undo <laughs> this experience. The years of... <laughs> and give Dave... A Disneyland Paris experience. Both of us. Yeah, but I'm I'm hoping that you'll come out of this with new memories. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't think it when I first when you first told me about going to Disney World, I was not convinced in, in any way, shape, or form that I was going to like it. I was You're like, like I don't like roller coasters. <laughs> don't like burgers that aren't from Scotland. <laughs> well, that's not true. I don't like it when they don't cook them. True. But anyway. But I am so excited to see Barney in Disneyland Paris. Yeah. And I think we're just going to have the best time. I think it's going to be a really good sort of like test run as well mm-hmm. in terms of it just being much easier to get to. Yeah. Um, Not a nine hour flight. Not as humid. Straight away. Yeah, not <laughs> as humid. And yeah, I think, I think it'll be a really nice little stepping stone in terms of him getting ready for a big trip like Florida. I do. And we'll only be there for a few days in terms of being away as well. Yeah, and if you have been in November, let us know about the weather. I think it's going to be similar to February, which people said was sometimes warm, sometimes chilly. Yeah. So we'll prepare for that. Should we share what our Disney World Hotel is? Oh yeah, yes. So, we are staying at a hotel we've never stayed at before. It has the Skyliner. It's Riviera, not really. (laughs) (laughs) It's um, what's it even called? Pop Century! Pop Century, <laughs> yay! We've heard so many good things about having the Skyliner, especially if you have a pram, because you don't have to collapse them, you can just wheel them right on. Obviously the Skyliner only goes to Hollywood Studios and Epcot, but we're still really excited. We have actually never stayed at a value resort before, and um, I think that's mainly been because every time we've gone we've done the dining plan. But with the dining plan not being an issue now. And whenever we booked before, it used to be you got free breakfast with a value. With a moderate, you got the free quick service dining plan. And then I think it was with deluxe, you got the free table service. So when we were on our honeymoon, we did that. And we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge, um, which was pretty good. (laughs) And then... (laughs) Pretty sweet. In our other two trips, we did the free quick service plan with a moderate. So we did um, Coronado Springs first, and then we did... Caribbean Beach and we've actually loved like all the hotels yeah. we've stayed at so I think because we've done moderate and we've done deluxe I'm really excited now to do value and just have 
the experience of all three. Yeah, and especially as you said with the Skyliner having that extra bit of like transport and, and it's yeah. really cool and like... I think that's why Pop Century keeps selling out because every time I was looking all the values were available except for Pop Century and Art of Animation because they share the same Skyliner route. I think it's based at Art of Animation and it's just like a walk across a bridge from Pop Century over to Art of Animation, which I think means we, obviously we could use their quick service as well, as well yeah. court, so which I've heard is really good. At least we've got more options to choose from. Yeah. Um, and there's a giant like Baloo <laughs> in Pop Century. That thrills me. <laughs> I love Baloo. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, like from what we've seen, the the rooms look really nice. Yeah, they do. I'm really, really excited about it. And, and I'm, I'm excited that it's going to be like visually stimulating for Barney as well. I think well. he's going to love it. I think he will too. He's going to probably love it more than moderate. Like, this is so much cooler, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> So I think that's all our plans. We need to sort out our park pass reservations. We need to think about dining. Um, I think what we're going to do is do a to Topolino's yes. breakfast because we've heard so many good things. Yeah. And I think a character breakfast, especially to meet Mickey, will just be really special. And I think, yeah, probably on your birthday. Yeah, that would be so nice. Meet the big man on yeah, your birthday. Yeah, on my birthday. So that's something to look forward to and of course we'll let you know um more stuff about paris yes as soon as we know which will be very soon we don't know anything about disneyland paris so i think with those vlogs you're just gonna be uh <laughs> it's gonna be a real it's gonna be a ride. first time experience <laughs> uh but it's all disney right so we're, we're just really excited to have these new experiences and i think <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> Just like watch us get lost driving yeah, through, Par through Paris. Ruin it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do the worst Disney vlog ever. Um, Don't say that. Yeah, we're just, we're so excited. And also, please let us know if you're going to be there at the same time. Yeah. If you're going to be there in November, definitely let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have a party for me. Yes, <laughs> birthday party for so. But yeah. I and mean, I share a birthday with Mickey Mouse, which is the 18th of November. So, so you know, it's meant to be. Absolutely. <laughs> it would be kind of rude not to actually. True. <laughs> but yeah, I think we've said everything, haven't we? Yeah. Um, we'll probably start thinking about like what we need to take to Paris and all of that. So we'll do some like packing and bits and bobs planning um, along the way. And yeah, let us know if you have any questions. All right. I'm just excited, sorry. <laughs> like, we'll say bye. Okay, but bye, <laughs> bye. Bye. Yes, magic band, bye. Does it even work? <laughs> I don't know, probably. Hope so.